Just a follow up to my previous video, I've been doing some speed testing uh, to see what kind of speeds I can get with the 2.5 amp drivers on the 4 amp motors. Um, see, I've detached the, the laser for now just so the cable doesn't get in the way. And also while I was at it, I've put a little bit of light oil on the rails just because usually like when you touch them with your fingers it goes a bit rusty and ruin your bearings and stuff so yeah put a bit of oil along the whole length and yeah, just use a demo program here it's basically a 900 by 1200 square and it just repeats it five times and so far I've found that I at 700 millimeters a second it stalls but 500 it seems to do quite easily so if I go to options parameters and see so I've got the cut acceleration at a thousand engrave at eight thousand so I'm still sort of playing around with all these settings so I'm do that so if we hit go on here uh, the space speed so when it goes side to side that's at 200 millimeters a second And once it gets up there, it'll start doing the square. See all the cables just hanging down there. Yeah, I was just using that to sort of spread the oil around a bit. Um, I'll just stop it for now. I do have to do a little bit of tweaking on it yet because this bearing here isn't actually riding on the rail. So you can actually spin it freely by hand whereas this one you can't. And because of that the plate's sort of a little bit wobbly. But you know, it's nothing really major. They've got these little uh, adjustment rings down here and you can use sort of a pair of these pointy adjustment clip ringy plier things and you just there's a little grub screw in there you've got to undo first but then you can just put these in there and twist it until it's nice and stuck on the rail um, it also has one limit switch down at that end um, which I'm told is meant to be the front end but it sort of doesn't really make any sense since you've got the motor down there so it's not really a big deal I've just super glued this one on here for now just to see where it sort of needs to go before I drill it yeah that works and it has two on the top here so you can use either side as an origin but yeah if you want to use a different side as an origin you're gonna have to put your own limit switch on uh, you only need one on each side because the belts are all attached and this thing can't go out of alignment unless you really do something wrong but so that it's bolted down yeah on the, both sides of that plate yeah then you've got this thing it's like a sort of a module itself that just attaches on there and that has the motor underneath and a pulley and that's just my driver I've bolted on there because that, of course, that won't go there once the actual machines, but it was just easier to run just the power cable and the step and direction instead of all these to the bench. But yeah. So you could also run some cables down there since you probably don't want to have the cable chain at this end because that's where all your optics are. Although I suppose it won't really matter because it'd be underneath. 
but um, you've sort of got extra little mounting holes and a bit of space under here for a cable chain if you want to do that. And yes, yeah, so I'm just playing around with it and see what I can do. Um, I'm sort of over here, I'm running the CO2 laser with a bit of tubing just to see if there's any leaks because the barbs at this end are 10 mil and the barbs over on that end are 8 mil but luckily enough the same tubing fits over both of the barbs and doesn't look like it's leaking yet either and they also accidentally broke that barb off that laser a while back and I managed to get the tubing on there without breaking it off again so yeah just see how that goes this is a little pump it's off eBay for about 30 bucks it's got a little reservoir in it and I've also got a radiator coming from light object as well that'll go with that oh and I also have this little fish tank chiller if I end up needing to chill the water anymore and along with that um, sort of the box of stuff I've got a flow sensor I'm not sure if that'll be sensitive enough yet but we'll see and a temperature sensor that I sort of bodged together myself just uses one of the little LCD read readouts but yeah load of crap in there the laser power supply and all that but yeah it's quite a quite a good machine this so far has a few little flaws like I had one of these brackets didn't quite line up with the holes but it's easy enough to just drill out the holes a little bit wider and it's all good and apparently these things are made in factory so that's sticking out a little bit but you know, it doesn't really matter since you're gonna have to have room under here for your well, for your optics anyway since this has to bounce down the side then your beam will go across here to the other mirror on here and then across to the carriage but yeah and then you have the little air assist tubing there and this little air pump see how that tubing goes on there and then this is just a standard compression fitting. But yeah, um, this is the box it turned up in. I forgot to mention that a bit earlier. Um, get it off it. Cut out a little stencil. Yeah, it's got some extra stuff in there. The lid had actually sort of come off on this side over here because it's just nailed into chipboard and once the chipboard splits a bit in shipping the lid tends to come off but apart from that it was pretty well packaged I mean you've got this stuff wrapped around everything so you get like a crap load of this clean wrapping stuff and then the whole thing is surrounded in this foam, foam packing so um, everything arrived pretty much perfectly except for there's a little little ding on the side of there and I'm not quite sure what's what caused that but it doesn't really affect anything anyway so yeah um, I'll put a link to the website I bought this it's called light object and they've got a heap of um, DIY laser and laser cutter type stuff and all the laser tubes and pretty much everything you need um, these this model probably won't be listed yet they'll have an older model which doesn't have the belt reduction and stuff and I don't know they'll put the new one up eventually once they've got them in stock or whatever since I think most of the time they actually ship from the US well they're based in the US so this one actually shipped from Hong Kong since it's a, it's a new model so you know it sort of just came directly from the factory and well if you live in the US you can probably actually even just pick it up if you live close enough so 
yeah that's basically it for now I'm waiting on a few more stepper drivers and a radiator and a co2 laser current meter and some other little stuff like that but apart from that all I've got to do is build up another frame and make a z-axis and well that's about it anyway yeah so I'll do another another video on that once I've done a bit more work on it but nothing really to show for it now